Hello everyone and welcome back to Colouring with Kate. Thank you for joining me today. So I was requested to do a flip through of this lovely book called Mystical Lands of Cowswitch, um, Harvest Moon Wanderings by Karen E. Myers. So I thought I'd do a flip through as soon as I could possibly sit down and do it. And um, there's some other books here at the back which are also um, released. So we've got The Mystical Lands of Uchana. If don't know if I pronounced that correctly and then the mystical lands of Uchana journey to the hidden places and then the mystical lands of Uchana unlocking the mystery and then the mystical lands of Kelfridge I think I've got this one and this one um, previously and so um, I just want to say before I start the flip through that I'm sorry for not being able to put out videos as regularly as I want to because I have been really really busy and I will be for the next three weeks or so as well but as soon as um, my workload reduces I will hopefully produce more videos so um, let's get started then so this is the um, bring you in a little bit this is the title page just really the book belongs to page should I say not the title page so you go straight into that from the cover and um, this is Amazon printed paper as well I really like the mushrooms and you know the picture the pictures and how they're drawn bring you out a little bit so you can see the whole sort of book there we go so we've got this lovely house which is colourable so this is the title page so you get the book belongs to page first um, and then you have um, your Kelswitch Harvest Moon Journey, so some little information about the journey that you're going to take through the book, Wishing You Safe Travels by Karen Myers. You've got a colour test page here, so you can experiment with colour palettes, and there's some lovely um, you know, pictures around here, drawings. You've got a scarecrow there with a pumpkin head and things like that, so that's quite nice. And then you've got a map of Kel Switch. so this is a similar style to her previous books and so this um, page is marked because um, I marked it to colour so I've completed colouring it so I used um, it's Bell Blossom Cottage so each picture has got a, a name the place has got a name and so um, I used mainly alcohol markers and gel pens with this as you can tell from the back of it so we've got black bog Atoll, Camp Moon Dust, faces on the tree and the, the mushroom, they look a bit fed up really. Um, this is called Chastershire Cit Citadel, I'm not so sure. But yeah, they look very um, whimsical. Dreadmoor's Thicket like a little house on top of the mushroom through which this weird creature that looks like a worm is coming out of. Then you have Earthhorn Villa. So this is more of a simple, I'd call it a simple image rather than very very detailed. We've got Fernwood Lair. See this one's more detailed so it's good that you've got um sort of a little mix between more detailed images and more simple images so Frulicra Jora Tree probably made a right hash of that name Crimley Sycamore I like the fact that there's a little like a little under you know house underneath the ground um, that's quite nice Gunkle's Garden Shed Halloween Haunting. There's the scarecrow from near the beginning of the page. So yeah, these are very um, you know autumn light pictures that you can enjoy colouring. So this looks more like a street with like, houses, etc., and mushrooms everywhere. More mushrooms in this one, Lapping Lane. So yeah, this is showing you the places sort of streets before you get to the places. Merry Mushroom Meetup. Definitely look how happy all well, this one doesn't. Awkward Rest. Definitely like this one. 
So of course the image is a single sided which is always a plus. Old decision tree. I like the names as well. Reclusive rainforest. That's a really nice one to do. You can imagine using various greens on there. A very very simple one. Secret green conservatory. Shaman's shanty. Shady wood tunnels. So more yeah. The, I like these sort of pictures where you get to see the hidden, you know, homes. I think there's a, is it called a grandfather clock? Stumpton Gardens. Tabis Point Portion Works. It's like a very whimsical picture, that one. Tanglewood teapot. Oh, this one's a nice one. Pumpkin, the peaceful pumpkin B and B. So it's got all these individual rooms for the bed and breakfast. Oh, that's quite nice. I like this border as well. It's lovely flowery border. Time traveller's tea room. Oh, that looks lovely as well. It's got some nice details as well. Holworth Tower. Lots of pumpkins here as well. Towering Timber Grove. And all the pages have this nice border as well, which I I do like. Windmill of Blusterberg. Yeah, so this is the windmill, but it's got leaves as the um, you know the actual blades. Wolfington Village and then you come back to Bell Blossom Cottage which is the first page so you get two copies of all the images in this book which is great because um, you can use different media and you know you can if you want to do the picture again you've got the opportunity to do so so yeah, that's the flip through. I won't go through all the repeats because we know what all the images are anyway. So again, yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this short little flip through and um, until next time, take care. Bye.